Hi there, Ryan White here for highpointmusic.com.au. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn a jazz guitar arrangement of Freddie Freeloader from the Miles Davis album, Kind of Blue. So let's grab our guitars and get into it. Okay, so our first section here, we've got a B-flat 13 voicing, which is just our first finger on the 6th fret, second finger on the 6th fret on the D, third finger on the 7th fret on the G, and then our fourth finger on the 8th fret on the B string. So that's our B-flat 13, and then to get to a straight B flat 7, we're keeping our first and second fingers still. Our third finger is coming in to the F note there, and our fourth finger is taking the D on the seventh fret there. Okay, so just practice that transition using your third and fourth fingers. Okay, just like that. Second part of this section, uh, we're playing. B flat 7 voicing here, which is our first finger laid flat on the 6th fret, second finger on the 7th fret here, and we're just strumming the bottom four strings, then we go B string, fourth finger on the ninth fret of the B string, and then 6th fret on the E string like that. So we've got B flat 13 to B flat 7, drop down to this voicing here. So just do that a few times. B flat seven, B ninth, E string there. Last one here, people. All right, next section, people. There's a variation on that. So we play the B flat thirteen exactly the same to the B flat seven, but with our upper structure B flat here, we're placing our fourth finger. Okay, on the ninth fret on the E, and then we go ninth fret E again on the B string. So with the B flat 13, we go and then okay. So I put those slowly in context with the first one. So we go go to our B flat to our 13. This one here. I'll do that one more time. First one, B flat 13, and our variation. So when you've got that section moving really well, then we jump in to make an E flat 13, okay, which is our first finger on the G note, which is our fifth fret on the D. Our second finger is laid flat across the G, B, and E on the 6th fret, and then our 4th finger is up on the C note to give us the 13th of the E flat there. And very simply, we're just going... Okay, just like that. Releasing our 4th finger, so we go... And then instead of playing the B flat chord, because we're over an E flat... We're just going 6th fret, 6th fret, ninth fret into our B flat there. So I'll put that together nice and slowly. So we go. Okay, this is our little section here. Last one here. So for our next section, we're just going back to our B flat 13 here. Okay, just like we did there, but with our upper structure B flat, we're going like we did on the second variation that we learned today. So if I put that together with the E flat, we got so for the last little section of our run, here we go. flat there. So we might take this one in context from our last little run. We go, okay, and then our A flat to this F7 voicing here, chromatically moving it down, and then our first finger on the sixth fret to an A flat 7 there. So that F7 voicing is just second finger here on the tenth fret, 
first finger on the eighth fret, third finger on the tenth there. Okay. Now for this A flat seven voicing, we've just got second finger on the sixth fret, first finger on the C, which is the fifth fret, and then either your third or your fourth on the seventh fret there to give us the seventh degree of the chord. Just quickly before we recap the last part here, I'd like to tell you about the High Point Music Guitar Fundamentals program that I've just recently released. This highly effective program contains the unique method and processes that I've developed and used with my one-on-one -on -one students to fast track their development and achieve remarkable results with their playing. I'd like to invite you to check out what I'm talking about by following the links below for either an obligation free trial or sign up for the course today with confidence knowing it's backed by 100% satisfaction money back guarantee so one more time people just to recap what we've covered so far so b flat 13 to b flat and then here the call and response the variation e flat 13 here we have a run b flat 13 f7 e flat 7 flat seven to finish off here so that wraps up our lesson for freddie freeloader today make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment even just a simple thumbs up in the comment helps boost the channel in the algorithm and lets me know that you're enjoying the content that we're putting out here also don't forget to check out the high point music guitar fundamentals program either yourself or someone you know is looking to take their playing to the next level and lastly, if you'd like to become a member of the channel through our Patreon account, you can do so by following the links below there to sign up. My name is Ryan White. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch up with you all in the next video.